Hey, what's up everyone? We are pleased to announce our new plugin for Reillusions Cartoon Animator 4. This plugin makes it super easy to translate your Rococo mocap into awesome 2D animations. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get Rococo Studio connected and streaming live or pre-recorded data into Character Animator. Let's get to it. So the first thing you'll want to do is download the Rococo plugin for Character Animator. You can find it on the Reillusion Cartoon Animator 4 website. Go to Add-ons and navigate to Motion Live. Then head to Overview Body Mocap. And then Get Trial Profiles. Download the file and run it. Then open up the Reillusion Hub and you should see the Rococo plugin under Not Installed. You'll also need the Motion Live plugin. Now let's open up Character Animator. Let's start a new project, and then I'll load in some of the awesome pre-built scenes and characters. Let's grab the beach, and then I'll load in this Philip character as well. The F is for the front orientation. Next, we'll hop into Rococo Studio. First thing we'll do is enable live streaming out of Rococo Studio. If you click on Start Live Stream from a project and then turn on the iClone module, you can enable it. If you click on the gear icon, you can check the port forwarding information as well. This will come in handy later for troubleshooting any issues we have connecting to Character Animator. Now we are ready to stream. Let's go back to Character Animator and go to Plugins, and then open up the Motion Live 2D plugin. So if you go to the Body dropdown, you can see that we already have Rococo listed. These numbers should match the port forwarding information we saw in Rococo Studio earlier. Now if you hit the toggle next to Rococo, you can start streaming. However, you can only enable this if you have a live smart suit in Rococo Studio open and running, or if you have a pre-recorded animation open. If you do, the toggle will turn green. Now go to the character and select Rococo under body. And that's pretty much it. Now if we hit preview, we can see our Rococo Studio animation is driving our character here in Character Animator. If you're getting some funky animation, the last step might be to set the T-pose. You'll just stand in a T-pose or make sure to do a T-pose in your pre-recorded animation and then at the right time hit set T-pose. This can be a little difficult to do if you're alone, but I just hold my mouse in my hand while I do the T-pose and then click set T-pose at the right time. And that's it for this tutorial. There are tons of other settings to play with in Character Animator, such as automatically flipping the orientation of the hands or making adjustments to your animations, but you can find awesome tutorials covering all of that on the Reillusion website, as well as other tutorials covering connecting Rococo Studio to Character Animator. We hope this tutorial was helpful. We think there are so many amazing possibilities using this workflow, and we can't wait to see what people come up with. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below, or always feel free to reach out directly to support at rococo.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye.